Would you be surprised if I told you that the blood circulatory system is a very important part of the human body and as such is very important to our health? Most likely not, because it's obvious without the circulation of blood we can't live. Now, would you be surprised if I told you that waterways too are very important? Not only to wildlife but also to human life because they are actually the blood system of the planet. Probably not. Otherwise, we would treat our waterways with at least the same care and respect we treat our own bodies, which is far from perfect. My name is Shane Casey, and I want to find the root of why we fail to see the importance of our waterways. First, I want to look into the history of two main Irish freshwater canals, the Grand Canal and the Royal Canal. Why canals, you may ask, and not rivers or lakes? First of all, because both of these main Irish canals cross the country from one side to the other, creating a sort of circulatory system very similar to our own blood system. Both canals start the journey in the west of the country and finish it in the east, travelling across different counties, towns, villages, wild and agricultural areas and even rivers. Also, both waterways are man-made and required an immense amount of blood and sweat from our ancestors in the 18th and early 19th century and as such are a very important part of our heritage. Originally they were created for freight and passenger transportation purposes and they were used in this way for a long time but they also have become a significant part of the Irish scenery, Irish history and Irish everyday leisure and of course they have become a home for the Irish wildlife and first of all for the underwater life because canals are full of fresh water. Life has changed a lot since the time these waterways were created. So the canals have also followed life's changes and it has affected all those wildlife creatures that have claimed the canals as their home. Now, I'm on a mission to uncover the hidden life of Irish canals. I'm going to explore how humans have treated and are still treating the canals, how the progress and modernization has affected the habitat of many wildlife creatures and how all of these changes have affected our lives. And based on our current actions, with the help of those closely involved in monitoring and bettering the condition and maintenance of our canals, I will attempt to build a projection of the outcome awaiting us in the future. As part of my research, I will travel to different locations along the canals and I'll look at them through the lens of my camera and video protocol of all my findings. I'll also talk to members of different organisations like EPA, Waterways, who by the way own the canals, Fisheries, who are protecting our fishing resources, and of course the Irish Wildlife Trust. I will also talk to regular people and will ask them the same questions to compare the answers. I'll use special equipment to uncover the truth and together with leading Irish scientists we'll try to find proof of whether our canals are a true gem or a disaster waiting to happen. I believe I will find and discover something that will either impress or shock me or even both. So I would like to invite you to join me on this extraordinary journey. Let's explore the hidden part of our country's blood system to check if it's healthy and to find out if its health is connected with the health of living creatures, including its own creator, people.